Hi Colin! It's Sunday. Fourth official day of our communication this way. And basically since we've broken it down to just vlogging and Snapchat and the occasional phone conversation or in-person thing which hasn't really happened yet because we're both startlingly busy people, is going pretty well. I'm very happy with it. So today I spent some time at Ashley's graduation and it was really cool for a graduation. I mean most commencements are kind of long boring, full of really funny names that I should probably share. There was one girl whose name was Princess White. That, that's her real name. There was also Jennifer Lalo. Jennifer Lalo. Wow, her parents knew what they were doing. Jennifer, just, you're not gonna be popular. You're not gonna be cool. You're just gonna lay low your entire life. That was the plan. And so, sitting in during that graduation made me think. It made me think about names and the way that we name things. Things that our names mean to other people and what our identities are. The weird thing is that who I am is not defined by my name, but maybe my name has more impact on me than I think. What if my name was Michael? Or James? Or Ethan? Or Ezekiel? Or Paul? Paul's of the world, I apologize. Do you know who else's name was Paul? Steve Jobs' father stepfather. And anyway, the point is, our names are a lot more important than we think. Like, your name is Colin, and it's spelled with only one L. Kind of unusual, man. But at the same time, it differentiates you from all the other Collins that I know. The point is, is that I'm not really sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm very confused, and I keep messing up my words. I was studying old Vlogbrothers videos from, like, when they first started in 2007, and I was trying to figure out what they were doing that was similar to what we were doing, and how we've entirely copied their format, because... That's kind of what great artists do. And I'm not saying that we're great artists because, well, look at us. We're, we're us. We've managed to figure this out for the most part, and things are going pretty well. I think it's just a good way for us to talk and for the world to experience the way that we talk. Although, I am starting to think that there's one thing that we definitely need to do, which is instate some sort of time restriction. You had a 10 minute and then a 30 second, and I had like a four minute, and I'm hoping this one will be around the same. We'll see how it turns out in post because movie magic's gonna be a thing. And the thing is that we need to worry more about what we're saying than necessarily the rules, which I say immediately after explaining how I wanna change some of the rules, because I'm a very confused individual, and I don't know if that means that I'm talking too fast, or you're talking too slow, or we're using the right camera angles, or enough editing, or not enough editing, or if I'm talking about anything interesting, which I'm probably not, because I'm blabbering on about things that no one really cares about. I'm not gonna leave this in. I think the point is that we need to try doing different things. And I think that doing this is a good way to go about doing different things and thinking about things differently. Whether it's a graduation and what's going to happen after we graduate high school, whether it's what's happening right now, whether it's about just our names or it's about everything else that defines us, the bands we like or the people that we admire, whatever it may be, we are still figuring out and we are still learning and that's really cool and really scary, but we have a lot of time and a lot of potential to figure that out. So I think that's what we need to do. I hope that your sunburn gets better. Colin, I'll see you tomorrow.